In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 18, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. San Francisco Giants vs. Baltimore Orioles The San Francisco Giants, currently sitting at 73-78, entered the 2024 season with high hopes of making a playoff run. However, as the season has progressed, they've struggled to maintain momentum, particularly in the latter stages. As they now approach a crucial offseason, the front office is faced with a number of significant decisions that will impact the future of the franchise. The team is currently in the midst of a series with the Baltimore Orioles, who have had a much different experience this season. With an impressive record of 84-67, the Orioles have not only met expectations but have surpassed them, positioning themselves for what could be an exciting postseason. As the series continues, the Orioles are focused on finishing the regular season strong in preparation for what could be a fantastic October run. Baltimore has encountered a few bumps recently, finding themselves in a bit of a slump. Fortunately for them, they're hosting a Giants team that has been playing even worse. San Francisco's offense has been nearly non-existent, as they were held scoreless in three of their last four games. They failed to score in the final game of their series against the Milwaukee Brewers, followed by being shut out in the first two games of their series against the San Diego Padres. Although Heliot Ramos managed to hit a home run into McCovey Cove on Sunday, that small victory doesn't erase the fact that the Giants went 27 straight innings without scoring in the three days prior. Rookie pitcher Hayden Birdsong is set to take the mound for the Giants, but he's been struggling as the season grinds on. The Giants have lost all of his last six starts, and his performance has been less than stellar, with a strikeout-to-walk ratio of less than 2 to 1. In two of his last three outings, Birdsong didn't even make it past the fourth inning. With the Orioles' offense hungry for success and fighting to secure their wild card spot, they are likely to capitalize on the young, tired pitcher. While the Giants managed to secure a win in the first game of the series, this match matchup has been highly competitive in recent years, with the teams splitting their last 10 meetings evenly at 5-5, dating back to the 2016 season. In more recent history, the story has been much of the same, as the two teams are tied 2-2 in head-to-head -head matchups since last season. However, there are key differences this time around. Birdsong, despite being a promising prospect, is in the midst of a seven-game losing streak when starting, while Dean Kremer of the Orioles has been dominant, posting an impressive 0.69 earned run average so far in September. Baltimore is in need of a bounce-back performance, and facing a struggling rookie like Birdsong presents a prime opportunity for them to regain momentum. For these reasons, the Baltimore Orioles' money line is our full-game side pick. Neither starting pitcher has been particularly stellar of late. Birdsong has endured the disappointment of losing his last six starts, while Krimmer has dropped three of his last five outings. However, a closer examination of the numbers reveals that the blame doesn't fall entirely on these pitchers. In his last start, Kremer pitched seven strong innings, striking out seven and allowing just one earned run against the Boston Red Sox, yet his team still ended up losing once he left the game. Birdsong, on the other hand, has received even less support from his offense. In three of his last five losses, the Giants didn't score a single run, which makes it nearly impossible to secure a win. Recently, the Giants endured a three-game stretch in which they failed to score any runs, further highlighting their offensive struggles. Currently, San Francisco ranks 19th in the league in run production, a far cry from what's needed to contend seriously. Meanwhile, the Orioles have seen their games go under the total in each of their last five contests, and the Giants have gone under in three of their last four games as well. The first game of this series saw a flurry of runs in a lopsided affair, but overall, the under has hit five times in the last ten meetings between these teams, with an average of 7.5 total runs scored across their four matchups since the start of 2023. The Giants, despite their offensive explosion of ten runs in one game, have also seen the under hit in half of their last 10 games, while the Orioles have gone under the total in 7 of their last 10 contests, scoring just 20 runs in that span. Given these trends, combined with the recent pitching performances, we expect this game to be more of a low-scoring affair. Therefore, under the projected total is our full-game total pick. 
Atlanta Braves vs. Cincinnati Reds The Atlanta Braves and Cincinnati Reds prepare to square off in the second game of their three-game series in Cincinnati on Wednesday night. The Braves find themselves in a critical battle with the New York Mets for the third and final National League wildcard spot, with less than two weeks remaining in the regular season. Meanwhile, the Reds, who have already been eliminated from playoff contention, are now playing the role of spoilers as they wrap up another postseason-less campaign. The Braves have been inconsistent lately, entering this series on the heels of two crushing defeats in which they were outscored 18-2. On the other hand, the Reds have been hot, winning five of their last eight games. They recently secured a road series victory against the Minnesota Twins, where they averaged an impressive seven runs per game, indicating their offense is starting to come alive. On the mound for Atlanta will be Spencer Schwellenbach, who is expected to keep things in check but hasn't shown the dominance needed to secure a win. Jakob Junis, who has been reliable both as a starter and reliever for the Reds, will be looking to continue his excellent form. Junis has allowed one or fewer runs in each of his last four outings and will aim to extend that streak on Wednesday. Junis has been on a roll recently, putting together a solid stretch in his last three starts, pitching 13.2 innings and giving up just two earned runs, though he hasn't recorded a decision. Schwellenbach, in comparison, has given up seven earned runs over his last 16.2 innings across three starts, posting a one-to-one -one record during that span. In Tuesday's series opener, the Reds had to rely heavily on their bullpen after Williamson's early exit, using seven different pitchers to secure a comeback win. Given the workload on the bullpen, it's crucial for Junies to pitch deep into the game on Wednesday. For these reasons, the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full game side pick. While the Great American Ballpark is renowned as one of the most hitter-friendly venues in Major League Baseball, this Braves team is not the offensive juggernaut of last season. Missing key players like Ozzie Albies, Austin Riley, and last year's MVP Ronald Acuna Jr., the Braves have shifted their strategy, relying more on timely hitting and solid defense. In fact, they've gone under the total in three of Schwellenbach's last five starts. This season, two of the three games between these two teams have also gone under the run total. Similarly, the Reds have gone under under the run total in four of Juni's last five appearances, further indicating that this could be a low-scoring affair. Neither team has been particularly strong at the plate this season, with the Braves and Reds averaging just 4.4 and 4.3 runs per game, respectively. Both teams have only one star player capable of delivering consistent offensive production. Adding to that, the Braves are coming off a two-game stretch in which they scored a combined total of just two runs. Schwellenbach has had a solid rookie season, hosting a 3.76 earned run average and while he tends to give up a couple of runs, he rarely gets hit hard. Junies, since transitioning to a starting role, has been stellar on the mound, allowing just one run or fewer in each of his four starts since the switch in late August. Given the pitching matchups and recent form, a low-scoring game seems likely on Wednesday. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Miami Marlins The Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Dodgers will face off in the second game of their weekday series on Wednesday, September 18th. Miami enters the game with a 56-95 record, making them the worst team in the National League. Despite their overall struggles, the Marlins managed to pull off a win against the Dodgers on Tuesday night, but they've lost six of their last eight games leading up to this matchup. On the other hand, the Dodgers are inching closer to securing the best record in the National League, currently standing at 89-62. However, Los Angeles has also hit a rough patch lately, losing five of their last eight games. The Dodgers' loss to the Marlins on Tuesday came in a high-scoring affair, but it's safe to call that result an anomaly. Los Angeles is expected to bounce back strong against the worst team in the league on Wednesday. Miami is set to start Ryan Weathers, who hasn't pitched since June, which should give the Dodgers potent offense, ranked second in the league for total runs scored, a prime opportunity to capitalize. Weathers is likely to struggle after such a long layoff, and the Dodgers will look to exploit that. Meanwhile, Los Angeles will send Landon Knack to the mound. Knack has had a rough stretch lately, posting a 4.76 earned run average since the All-Star break. Despite Knack's recent struggles, the Dodgers' powerful lineup should have enough firepower to secure a high-scoring win, especially with the Marlins batting just .246 during home games. The Dodgers enter this series with momentum after dominating the Braves in the last two games in Atlanta, where they racked up 18 runs. Facing Ryan Weathers, who will be making his first start in over three months, the Dodgers' lineup is expected to have a productive night against the right-hander. Given Weathers' extended absence, he will likely be on a strict pitch count, 
meaning the Marlins' bullpen could be called into action early. This would present another opportunity for the Dodgers' offense to do damage. On the Dodgers' side, Landon Knack, though not originally slated to be a part of the rotation, has performed well this season, with an earned run average under four and allowing just 46 hits over 56 innings. Despite coming off his worst outing of the season in a loss to the Braves, Knack is poised for a bounce-back performance on Wednesday. Taking into account the Dodgers' dominance and Knack's ability to recover, the Los Angeles Dodgers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The Dodgers have been hitting consistently, posting a .255 batting average in September and .253 since the All-Star break. They will be up against Miami's Ryan Weathers, who hasn't pitched at the major league level since June. This gap in Weathers' activity should allow the Dodgers to score plenty of runs. On the mound for Los Angeles, Landon Knack has posted a 4.5 earned earn average in road games, but the Dodgers' offensive firepower should more than make up for any pitching concerns. Given the strength of Los Angeles' batting lineup this month, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.